Hello, day 33 of the Lockdown Wildlife Diaries and today I want to talk to you about a highly adaptive and highly invasive species that's all around us, even here in Thanet. I'm talking about the grey squirrel. I've just found this one on the roadside. I'm going to guess because grey squirrels don't really have any predators, this is probably hit by a car and I thought, you know what, I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to take that home and I'm going to do a blog about grey squirrels because everyone thinks oh they're so cute not many people realize what a pest they actually are grey squirrels were first introduced to the uk from north america in the 1870s as an ornamental addition and they continued to introduce them until the 1930s and they soon stopped when they realized the damage that the grey squirrels can cause and then it became shortly after the 1930s it became illegal to release grey squirrels into the wild we see squirrels all around in, in, in parks and places and their peak activity is actually about four hours before daybreak. And squirrels are a real pest to our ancient woodlands and they're very destructive, stripping bark away from the trees. And squirrels, a lot of people don't even know this, squirrels are real nest raiders and our bird doesn't stand a chance against a grey squirrel coming into its nest. They'll They'll go into the nest and they'll take the eggs and they'll take the chicks and... The bird under the attack from a squirrel will just flee and just leave its eggs and chicks to the mercy of the squirrel and it'll probably just abandon the nest. They cause a lot of damage to your home too if they get in. Pest control companies get thousands of calls a year to damage caused by grey squirrels. Grey squirrels are all we have around here. The red squirrels are pretty much gone and we couldn't even try and release red squirrels because greys will just take over. The greys carry... Um, squirrel pox and they'll transmit it onto the reds and it'll kill the reds and it'll just spread through the colony of reds so it, in our lifetime we're probably never going to see reds released around here the nearest stronghold I think is the Isle of Wight so that's probably the biggest threat that grey squirrels have against red squirrels it's squirrel pox there's been numerous initiatives to control the grey squirrels such as culling or sterilization and uh, it's, it's a little known fact that if you catch a grey squirrel, it is actually illegal to release it into the wild. It must be put down and it must be put down humanely. Um, any, I, I try and discourage grey squirrels from my garden. All, all my bird feeders are squirrel proof ones because I've had squirrels come in and take, um, take chicks and eggs before. So I, I, try and, I do what I can to dissuade cats and squirrels getting into my garden. Every time I talk about the impact of grey squirrels, people are often offended by it because they're so cute. Now, I am a very keen naturalist, been into it for a long time, and everything I speak is the truth. It is. And uh, it's not, you know, it's not the grey squirrel's fault it's here. It's our fault it's here, like a lot of uh, invasive species. And it's not the squirrel's fault it's a pest. It's just the wrong animal in the wrong place and now it's wreaking havoc on our countryside and our woodlands and it probably will continue to do so so yeah and this one has got lots of little maggots being laid in its cheeks by probably blue, blue bottle flies you see them in there and, and it's got a lot of fleas on it as well this squirrel i'm sorry if you've been a bit grossed out by this dead squirrel but to me picking up poo and picking up dead animals is totally normal so and I'm, what i'm gonna do with this one is i'm gonna chuck it in a bush somewhere so something can scavenge on it and what will probably happen is a fox will come and take it through the night if we lived in the countryside and i chucked it out it'd probably be a buzzard or a red kite or something more interesting so um this poor little boy has passed on and i've told you all the story about gray squirrels thanks for watching